Greetings from Galaxy Campers in Ontario, California. Today we're going to take a look at this 2022 Lance 1172. It is Lance's largest camper. It's got two slides uh, for the 22 model. It's got new graphics. It's got new flooring, new countertops. It's got quite a few uh, new items for this uh, year model. So anyway, let's go take a look. Okay, we're in the inside of the 2022 Lance 1172. We're gonna start with the uh, front bedroom. It's got a queen size bed. Reading lights in the back with, as you can see, there's storage up top. Now, of course, you have the uh, skylight, which opens up. And right now the uh, day shade is on and you can actually, you can open this up and there's also this uh, screen so if you're going to open up the window you still have the bug screen but uh, it's a pretty nice little system and this is what the bedroom looks like with just the led lights it's nice and even and easy on the eyes off to the side here you have your dvd um, radio as well as storage overhead and as you can see here, there's additional storage right next to the bed that could be covered. And there are speakers up top that's, of course, attached to the radio. And you have additional storage on top of the closet. Now this right here is the uh, wardrobe. Uh, where you can hang uh, your shirts. Now, getting to the back or to the head of the bed, there is your outlet up top, as you can see here. <clears throat> and if you're lying down, this is the perspective from which. Um, if you're lying down on your bed, this is what it looks like. And you have your television that, of course, uh, it swings out so you can actually see that television. Okay, moving forward. 
off to the side here you have your Norcold refrigerator and freezer pretty good size it's so big you can even have a polar bear in there yeah now we're gonna move back to the dinette which of course turns into a bed I'm gonna show you that in a little bit with the drawers inside now see the little button right here if it's in that means it's locked when you push it it comes out that means you can open it up and these drawers come out pretty wide and what's nice about it is that it slides out far enough so you don't have to reach underneath everything is accessible when you pull out the drawer and it's a both it's the same thing on both sides And that's what it looks like when it's pulled out all the way. All right, in order to uh, bring this um, dinette into a bed, let me show you. Okay, moving on to the bathroom. So this is the uh, bath bathroom. You can see it's a dry bath. Unlike some of the smaller campers, it is a wet bath. So this, it's big enough so they can actually separate the bathtub from the sink area and the toilet area. And as you can see, it's a pretty deep tub. And of course you have the uh, hand shower and what is actually kind of cool is this pole so this pole you can actually slide it in like this for um, you know for storage and if you notice also when you bring it out it comes out wide enough so when you're taking a shower you actually have a lot more space Also notice you have the uh, pole up here. So um, if you do have that long raincoat or if you have a wetsuit or you have a nice fancy dress, uh, you can actually store it in here. Um, it's long enough uh, for, for it to fit during transit. Now right over here on this side you have your cabinet you've got lots of counter space with your sink and you have your outlet down below as well as a nice drawer and the additional storage underneath the sink so even though hello even though you have this great big mirror, it does not open up into a storage, but you do have the storage right over here. Now over here on this side, you have your second television set with some storage right below it. It's big enough for magazines, documents, uh, or whatever you have that, that's flat that you can place inside. And now we are in the kitchen area and we're gonna start up top as you can see you have your controller for the solar panels as well as your indicators for your battery fresh tank black tank gray tank and your water pump and you have your on off switch for your uh, Cummins Onan uh, generator and well it's not an on off it's it's so you can start it stop it and of course this logs how many hours you have on the generator. You have your uh, kitchen area right here. 
with the uh, suburban three burner stove and this beautiful cover that lies flat so you have a lot of room for food prep and uh, as you can see it goes all the way around you have a nice um, faucet it's like a residential faucet which actually comes down and sprays um, this cover of course uh, comes off to reveal the sink and you have this fancy um, counter extender uh, that locks into place and folds away during travel now take a look at the sink it is a pretty big sink big enough to wash your pots and pans I really like it um, I really like the colors and as you notice the counters are also brand new for the 22 uh, model year and back there is get your uh, plug outlets <clears throat> and moving up top you have your LED light right here as well as overhead storage for your plates and your um, dining utensils and whatever you want to carry in there <clears throat> high point microwave I think it's standard on most of these campers and travel trailers now as well as your uh, vent that uh, has a light and the fan that uh, covers up for your suburban three burner stove. Now right below it, you do have your oven. Now for me personally, I don't use the oven even though I have one. Um, the only thing I use it for is to store my pots and pans. So what do you use your oven for? Do you actually use it to bake? Uh, comment below, let me know. And right below the stove, you have this additional drawer that pulls way out, and you have all this extra space. All right, moving along near the door, we're at the door again. Up top, you have your little key rings right here, as well as the lights for the awning and awning control. <clears throat> Off to the side here, additional storage at the light inside which is nice and you can see I think this is optional too with your um, adjustable uh, shelves and you have an additional storage space underneath okay and finally this is the rear slide of the 1172 and on this rear slide you have a couple of lights up top which are dimmable by the way and this little sofa which is nice because really you're you know you don't want to sit down you want to wait for your food uh, this is a good place to hang out in addition to the dinette of course and uh, if you see here it's got this little slot for a small table now this sofa does is not a sofa bed uh, and you would think it's a recliner but it's actually not a recliner uh, this is actually for your foot rest so simply pull on this and it reveals the uh, foot rest so you have the foot rest one on each side and it just um, kind of pull it towards you and it goes right back into place All right, I think that does it for the interior of the 1172. Let's go take a look outside. Okay, starting from the back, you can see here you have the uh, access to your uh, transfer relay down here. But right next to it, you have storage space uh, down below which features two doors so that you can actually um, access your stuff much easier now as you can see right now it's sit, sit on the ground when it's on your truck it's easier to access right here is a little storage area for your um, uh, septic tank for your dump uh, not your septic tank but it's for the septic hose 
and right beside that are where your drains are uh, for your um, septic your body waste as well as the uh, gray tank and you have your outside shower and right next to that is where your generator is okay this particular model you do have your slide cover on both slides the rear slide and the uh, slide on the side notice these covers these covers I believe is still in option uh, with Lance camper uh, most of the ones here at Galaxy have that already and I highly recommend it because it does keep your camper a lot cooler that little pocket in between right here actually allows the air in so even on a hot day because if you're not parked underneath a shady tree that shade that little space actually allows air to go through and it keeps your camper uh, a lot cooler so that's a nice thing about that all right here are the acrylic windows double pane and they all open up which is nice they're nice and light better than the uh, glass windows and moving out to the front you have your big awning on the side which I believe is now standard with Lance Camper so if you're getting a camper or a travel trailer uh, you get that awning on the side okay so right here you have your uh, access panel to the equipment you have outside speakers still a little bit of storage portable water and your 110 outlet propane tanks the uh, furnace right here and uh, we'll go up on the roof see what it looks like okay we are on the roof of the 1172 so you can see it does have the roof rack and you've got a couple of solar panels up front and here is what the awning looks like when it's extended all the way out of course you do have the light on the inside it's not open all the way because this other uh, camper is kind of in the way but yep provides a lot of shade and this is standard equipment now on Lance campers so very nice option all right well that concludes the walkthrough tour of the 2022 lance 1172 we'll see you next time